kindergartners. I hope you're staying cool on this hot, hot day. This book is called Grandma Lena's Big Ol' Turnip by Dania Lewis Hester, illustrated by Jackie Urbanovic. So this was adapted from a Russian folktale that was called The Turnip by Alexei Tolstoy. So this is another, just like yesterday when uh, with My Life with the Wave, it was adapted and retold. This one is also adapted and retold. Oh, and the dedication is to Mark Lewis, Michelle McDonald, and Jennifer and Chris Williams. And for Annie and her family, Devin, Andela, Philip, Olivia, Jay, Chanel, Kayla, Korea, Kaya, and Najay. The hours they spent pulling up an imaginary turnip made these paintings possible. Some kindergartners probably will have connections. The whole thing started when Grandma Lena decided to grow turnips in her backyard garden with her reading glasses perched on her nose all winter she studied her seed catalogs hoping to find just the right kind to plant grandma chuckled at all the fancy names there were white knights and scarlet queens royal crowns i don't see those anywhere uh and white ladies don't see those here's ivories hakure and the purple top she finally decided on a turnip called Purple Top. After all, purple was her favorite color. When spring arrived and the ground was soft enough for digging, Grandma Lena planted the tiny seeds. She didn't worry that the air was still nippy. It was cold. She knew turnips liked cool weather. Soon, tiny plants popped up. For the next month, Grandma Lena watered and weeded her turnips, her turnip plants every day. Hey, Lena, Uncle Isidore teased. I hope you taught those turnips how to swim. You're watering them so much, I'm afraid they're gonna drown. Grandma Lena grunted and said what she always believed. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. Every day, the turnips grew. One was bigger than the rest. On the first day of June, connection, Grandma Lena stepped into her garden to find the biggest, fattest, most gigantic turnip she had ever laid eyes on. What a fine turnip stew it will make, she thought. It's enough to feed half the town. From the porch, Baby Pearl stared at the turnip with wide eyes. Big potato, she said with a giggle. Grandma Lena took hold of the enormous stem and leaves. She yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. You can be like Grandma uh, Lena and try to grab that turnip out of the ground. Carl, Grandma called, put down that newspaper and help me pull up this big old turnip. Grandpa took off his reading glasses and came running. Then Grandpa pulled on Grandma while Grandma pulled at the turnip. They yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Izzy, Grandma yelled, stop eating up my peach jam and help us pull up this big old turnip. Uncle Isidore wiped his mouth and came running. Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa, oh, here's Uncle Isidore, pulled on Grandpa. Grandpa pulled on Grandma, and they yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Nettie, Grandma yelled, put the baby down and help us pull up this big old turnip. Aunt Nettie gave Baby Pearl a toy and came running. Aunt Nettie pulled on Uncle Isidore, and Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa, and Grandpa pulled on Grandma. They yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. 
Rascal, Grandma hollered. Put down that bone and help us pull up this big old turnip. Oh my goodness, friends. It's a lot of people trying to get that turnip up. Rascal dropped his chew bone and came running. Then Rascal pulled on Aunt Nettie, Aunt Nettie pulled on Uncle Isidore, Uncle Isidore pulled on Grandpa, and Grandpa pulled on Grandma. They yanked and jerked and tugged, but that big old turnip would not budge. Baby Pearl came toddling across the yard, her diaper half undone. Shame on us, said Grandma. We forgot about Pearl. Baby Pearl pointed at the ground. Big potato, she said. Stand back, Pearl, warned Grandma. I'm going to haul this turnip out if it's the last thing I do. Okay, everyone, pull. Friends, what do you think? Is it going to come out? Thumbs up if you think yes. Thumbs down if you think no. And maybe if you, sideways if you think maybe, or you're not sure. In all the confusion, nobody noticed that baby Pearl was holding onto Rascal's tail. Then Rascal clamped onto Cousin Nettie's skirt. Cousin Nettie grabbed Uncle Isidore. Uncle Isidore grabbed Grandpa and Grandpa held tight to Grandma. The whole family yanked and jerked and tugged with all their strength. Let's see if they are successful. Pop! At last, with dirt flying in all directions, that big old turnip burst out of the ground and the whole family fell in a pile behind it. Baby Pearl, clap, baby Pearl clapped and said, uh-oh, fall down. By now, the sun was setting. Everyone else went to bed exhausted, but Grandma Lena stayed up late. She washed and chopped the turnip greens and put them in her biggest pots with some onions and bacon and cooked them until they were nice and tender. After that, she chopped up the giant turnip. It was so big, there would be plenty left over for turnip, turnip casseroles, turnip fries, and pickled turnips. Then she made a turnip stew with potatoes, carrots, and peas. What would turnip stew be without cornbread? Thought Lena. So she baked golden brown corn muffins. I love corn muffins, especially with butter. The next day, Grandma Lena invited all her friends and neighbors to help her fill in the hole and share her delicious turnip dishes. Half the town showed up with shovels, hoes, and spades. All these gardening tools. Some brought jugs of cool apple cider and lemony tea cakes to share. It was the biggest party since last year's 4th of July picnic. Everyone agreed that it was the best meal they'd had in a long, long time. The neighbors joked about what Grandma Lena would plant next year. It'll be big, one neighbor said. Lena doesn't do anything halfway. Of course, said Grandma Lena. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. That night, when the family was full and dozing in their chairs, Baby Pearl whispered to Rascal, Big potato all gone. The end. So that was a really big turnip. And I will see if I have another book that is another version of this because I think I have one, uh, but you'll have to wait and see. So I hope you have a good rest of your Friday. Stay cool. And I will see you on Monday morning for Zoom. Bye, Kate.